Once you play it, you get hooked. It's like a legalized drug. You've probably played it at the beach, batch or local park, but now the who's who of Patong players are heading to Mount Monganui for the national championships. patong has been in New Zealand for the best part of 30 years now. It's a French game and if you go overseas, lots of people play it everywhere. We have uh, about 1,500 members that affiliate to Patong New Zealand. There are lots of other people that play in smaller clubs that don't affiliate to Patong New Zealand, so not really quite sure how many of those people there are. The competition will be held over Anzac weekend and is a highlight of the Patong calendar. Clubs throughout the whole of New Zealand form a team of six, two of which must be women. So they've got people coming from as far south as Dunedin and um, as far north as Auckland. And it's not just pensioners that will be out in force. Stop sniggering over these. People that turn up to the tournaments will be all ages. Um, we're trying to encourage the people to come back that are in their 30s. Uh, there's a lot of older people and this is why it's, I think, deemed as being an old person's game, which is rather unfortunate, really. But we do have, particularly down south, a lot of juniors that are playing. It's very hard to keep them when they get to 16. There's all sorts of other things they want to get involved in. And unless we can offer them something like travel overseas to play for New Zealand, it's very hard to do something that will keep them here. One adult player who's won just about everything there is to win in the sport is Rotorua's Andre Knoll. He says that despite first impressions, Patong can be dangerously addictive. When I first time I seen it and I looked at it and I was like, oh, this is an old person's game. Sort of something like bowls. The tricky part with this is once you play it, you get hooked. It's like a legalized drug. Off the top of my head, I can't really tell you how many, how many championships I've won. I haven't really tallied it up, but I'm going to go with something in the range of maybe 15 to 20. And if you're not born with the natural gift of being a world-class Patong player, there's still hope. The ones that aren't born with the gift, it requires a lot of training. In saying that, this game is geared up for any age, doesn't matter, from 10 years old to 60 years old to 70 years old. Like my son, I can't get him away from Patong. As soon as I say there's a tournament, he wants to play with dad. For Andre's son, it's Patong's strategic gameplay that keeps him coming back. It's just a fun game to play. Probably the strategy, because that's a good part of the game and you probably would need that. I like it for the social aspect and you meet a lot of new friends. Rain or shine, the Patong National Championships will go ahead on April the 24th and 25th at the Tauranga Patong Club in Mount Maunganui. Oh, well Volunteers are also welcome. We're always looking for people to help and we get very little funding. Um, all the big sports take all the funding, so it's, it's hard yakka out there. Gavin Ogden, Local Focus.